Hi, we are Alessio and Dilario. In 2015, after high school, we decided to study game design. That's where we first met. We started throwing ideas for some games together, and so our team, Nuraj Interactive, was born. While studying game design, we began working little day jobs on our own. In 2017, we graduated and were ready to develop marvelous games together. We started facing failure of every idea we tried to carry out. Game too complex, game too big, not enough resources. In the meantime, we clung to our day jobs to save some money, but those failed not too much later. Our contracts were never renewed and we found ourselves unemployed and already with a whole year of attempted and failed games on our backs. We decided to retry, but smaller. For over three years, we threw ourselves into one of the most savage and brutal branches of the video game market, hyper-casual mobile games. Sustained solely by our families and little savings, we went out of our way to accomplish the hyper-casual dream, to publish a game with viral potential and dominate the stores, to be paid, to get back to work on the great and beautiful games we wanted to make. To chase this dream, we descended into the world of exploitation of hyper-casual games. You work at a frantic rhythm, and nobody really knows how to make a game capable of getting published. You go blind, coping others and restarting from zero every few weeks. Above all, you work for free. We found ourselves as two amongst thousands of hopeless developers in this gold rush, and all of them were willing to not ask for a single penny for their work. For three years, investing our savings in necessary tools and licenses, we developed hyper-casual prototypes nobody will ever see because they all failed. None of our prototypes was ever a match for the market standards. None of them was published. We were never paid. When the situation became unsustainable, we opted to change air and try to make a bigger game on our own. Not a miserable smartphone project that would have never seen the light of day, but something to be proud of. A good game. We started brainstorming ideas, pushed by the will to leave those inconclusive years behind. The idea we chose was Florifer, and it was since the beginning the game of hope. As the bearer is tasked with bringing the flowers back into a desolate and lost world, so Florifer had to give us back the will to carry on and the hope for a better future. Unfortunately, Florifer was never anything more than a side project. We never really managed to break away from the hyper-casual market Despite all the disappointments, despite it had dragged us into a spiral of depression and total discouragement, we still wanted to believe in the chance of getting a successful hyper-casual game. At our age, we just could not afford locking inside our homes for months or years without having any income. Money would have allowed us to be at peace, serene, to calmly work on Florifer and maybe invest on it. So we decided to keep Florifer as a side project whilst churning out ever new hyper-casual prototypes. However, we did not accept to work for free. We started pretending to be paid for our hard work. Hyper-casual publishers have thousands of developers who would never be brave enough to ask for a salary at their disposal. But if they wanted our prototypes, they would have had to pay for them. We worked for several publishers 
as Forifer grew and became more and more beautiful. A lifeline where the next hypercasual prototype failed and we had to restart from scratch. We managed to get paid for a while, so now we have some savings. But the fact we still never succeeded in publishing a game works against us, making us unappealing to many publishers. Three years in the hypercasual markets and no published game. Something must be wrong. What is wrong? Where is all this taking us? Why nothing works? Perhaps hypercasual games are not our thing and we should just focus on Florifer. And how's Florifer? Is it a good game? Can it succeed? We are constantly under pressure. We look around and see games better than Florifer, with more mechanics, better graphics, and a lot of fans. We look around and see games worse than Florifer, then still make it, and we feel bad, and we feel envy. We look around and see games that are barely prototypes, but still have a bigger following than Florifer and grab the attention more than we ever managed to do. Perhaps we're simply not good with marketing and devlogs and social media. Perhaps Florifer is good, but we were not able to present it properly. Perhaps Florifer is mediocre. Perhaps Florifer is bad. Perhaps it is all useless. You, who are watching this video, perhaps you only see 8 devlogs about a random game, then over a year of total silence, then this video. But behind all this, there are our lives sinking down as we try to turn this race at breakneck speed into a precipice, into a job. We know what is behind this year of silence. Can you imagine it? Where is Florifer taking us? Will we ever manage to finish it? Will we ever publish it? Will we manage to sell it? If Florifer fails, it is only our fault. No publisher to blame. And we will be left with more wasted years of wasted hard work. We will be older, more tired, poorer, more depressed. Perhaps we're not going to make it.